All right, Andy. So this drill is going to test your commitment, right? Um, you're going to dribble through the cones. You can scissor. You can shuffle. Whatever is easier for you. All right. At the end of this, we want to take your shot, shoot the ball. So what we're going to add is a defender. Okay. This defender will come from behind. All right. Or it'll come from an angle. All right. That's just allowing you to know you got to focus. All right. You commit from here all the way through, from start to finish. All right. Make sense? That's what I'm doing. Here we go. Nice. 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 All right, so knowing that the fingers come in, does it make it hard for you to commit? Yes, because you don't have to focus to get to the goal. Okay. Without commitment, though, you never know if that ball's going to go in or not because you're not taking the shot. It can be scary, right? To really commit to dribbling the ball, commit to taking the shot in the line of the head, the opportunity that's in front of you, knowing that the finger's coming. But at the same time, it allows you to know that you're able to take that shot, right? And yes, you may not know what happens next, but you took the shot, right? That gives you a chance to score for your team, right? So commitment not only shows that you're going to do something, but it shows that you trust in yourself, right? Your ability, what you practiced on, right? And that itself is beneficial for yourself and the team. You agree? Yes. Good job, good job. Way to commit.